down again manually. This is quick, this is fast. Welcome to Invictus Porsche. We've got a Porsche 911, the 991.1 Carrera S. This is the Cabriolet version, and for quite a few reasons, I'll explain why should one consider buying the 911 convertible S, especially with the warmer weather that we, that's going to be upon us, and with all the potential the convertible uh, offers. And overall, it's still a Porsche. It's still an absolutely stunning car, and why I think I'd highly, highly recommend one of these because I think in life you need a Porsche. We all do at some point. Now this to actually open uh, and operate the convertible roof, you have a button here on the key, just hold it down. This section of it lifts up. This section is where you also access the oil and the coolant top up levels. It's quite pleasant watching the roof going down feels as if you're watching a Transformers movie and the windows just start to come up and this is the classic look of the 2 plus 2 setup that you normally find in the Porsche 911s and right to it one of the biggest advantages of it being a convertible is you're no longer restricted by having the headroom uh, space there if you've got adult passengers at the back or if you've got a teenager at the back so that's quite a nice thing and let me just illustrate that point I am about 5 foot 9, 1.74 centimeters. And uh, as long as somebody can give me a little bit more leg room here, uh, whether that's the driver or the passenger in a coupe, I'd feel restricted by that sloping roof. Whereas in a convertible, I am not. So this is reason number one. Number two, the convertible, they look stunning. Just being inside, one of these, driving one of these in the right condition, in the right climate. Or if you're going away on holiday, whether that's to the south of France, that's to Italy, that's somewhere to Cornwall in England. This gives you potentially everything you would want um, from life and in terms of an experience. Now, what are they like as a convertible? From a BHP and Newton, uh, the, the torque wise, it's all well the same, but the convertibles are weighted down. You get a slightly more planted drive in the convertibles, but they also come with the limited slip as standard. And additionally, the convertibles normally come in with, despite it being the 911 Carrera 2, they come in with a rear axle of the Carrera 4 or the Carrera 4S. This is one that is in absolutely phenomenal condition uh, and also the specification is next to none. I mean, uh, it's on a different level. I think this is exactly what I mean. You've got the Sport Seats Plus, uh, which are like 18-way electric uh, memory adjustable. They are heated, they've got lumbar supports. Uh, you've got all the buttons here you would want in terms of your Chrono Sport Plus package, your uh, active damper control system for the Sport chassis suspension, the PSM button. Uh, you've got the Sport, the Sport Plus button, the Sports exhaust, as well as having the Chrono watch there. And this has got the PDK um, transmission, which was a big optional, the seven-speed PDK transmission. We'll take it out for a test drive and just tell you a little bit more about why it's an amazing transmission uh, to have, especially in a sports car and not many well, I guess no other sports car has a PDK transmission, especially one that's been tuned, refined and improved generation and on generation forward. This was the transmission that was introduced in the 997. Okay, we are inside. Just amazing. Burble you get in the low speeds having sports and sports controls turned on. And that's the point of test driving one of these is nice weather, 
the roof is down. You feel in sync with the car, especially in a Porsche 911. And a colleague of mine we were just talking about how reassuring it is to actually sit in the inside of a Porsche. It just, the seats just hold you, they just grab onto you. And especially when they're heated, it makes an extra bit of a difference. And with the sport steering wheel and paddle shifts, it makes it engaging, especially when it sounds like this. This being the last of the Porsche 911s that are naturally aspirated, it's got the 3.8 litre Boxer 6, the flat 6 engine. This produces 400 bhp, just under 400 as a matter of fact, 395 bhp, 420 newton meters of torque. This being the convertible, which means there's a little bit more weight uh, to just hold the chassis down to counter the fact it's a convertible means it does not to 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds and the top speed is just shy of a few miles from 190 miles an hour currently it's done 48,000 miles and nice thing about the convertible is you can drive it like this with the roof off and it feels more exciting and just a lot more fun and engaging to drive than a coupe because you're so close to the engine you you get this direct feedback from a sound point of view and that's not what you get in a coupe let's go down again manually This is quick, this is fast, and, and it's still third gear. We were traveling at a good speed, and it can handle it just like a coupe Porsche 911. So it being a convertible doesn't, as a matter of fact, take anything away from the car. As a matter of fact, I think it adds to it. It gives you a different dimension, a different character. And when you're with the other half, and got a day like this good weather and you want to take something like this out even having kids I think it kind of ticks all the boxes and then you've also got an electronic wind deflector this thing right there just comes up with the press of a button and what that does is eliminate all the wind tornado you get and you no longer has the wind blowing aggressively to take away from the character of driving one of these. I feel the cold, the hot air blowing in my hands, despite it being marked, still quite cold. And the hot air blowing on my feet and the heated seats keeping my bum warm. It's a sixth gear, fourth, sorry, fifth, fourth, and we'll drop one more. It is incredible sound wise and this is being in countryside open roads which sounds great imagine you're in a city or in a town or an old village and you've got the sound of the exhaust bouncing off and then yes the steering wheel are no longer hydraulically operated the electronic steering but there isn't a massive input coming in from the electronic module to the steering it's a very engaging steering wheel it's, it's a very engaging steering wheel I mean there it requires an input from you you've got to put something into it sixth gear let's drop to fifth fourth it's third That was just over 
70 miles an hour. Now we're coming to this tunnel. And let's put the electronic wind deflector down. And even the audio quality should be coming across differently. It's a bit harder to have that conversation with somebody next to you without the wind deflector being on. These are the kind of critical changes that Porsche have slowly brought into their cars that's made an, a world of a difference into how they handle, how they drive, how they feel overall as a car and a big massive credit to Porsche for something like the electronic wind deflector. It's not a manual one that you have to faff around to lock it here to the sides or to the back. And this now brings us to the end of our test drive. Now the steering wheel, this is the sport steering wheel with paddle shifts. You get these amazing paddle shifts there to the sides. Also, you've got cruise control. If you're going to be doing quite a bit of motorway mileage, it's handy to have. Now on the outside, this is the C9Z paint coat, basil black metallic, complemented with the um, two-tone Damaka uh, 911 Carrera S edition three alloys. And you've of course also have the PDLS, the Porsche Dynamic uh, light system. Uh, so that's incredible and nice to have, especially if you're going to be doing a bit of driving during the night and you've got the daytime running LED lights. Now in terms of practicality, you flick this boot open and you can comfortably get two medium-sized suitcases and you can put a bit of other stuff around it. Now, the real desirable factor about something like this is they do hold value really well, not like other sports cars which can lose you 10, 15, 20 grand in no time. Something like this, even doing another 10,000 miles will still be worth possibly the same money next year or in two years time because it's done 42,000 miles and the value of something like this isn't going to be going anywhere. Porsches are always sort of limited in numbers, uh, limited supplied. I mean the convertibles, there are not many on Auto Trader, and there's hardly any available all around on the internet, especially in the summer. So quite nice to get into one of these nice and early. Now in terms of maintenance, um, this has got a phenomenal service history until 2018, which was all with Porsche. And then from 2018 onwards, the remaining three services have all been done with an independent Porsche specialist. It's been very well maintained. The front uh, brake pads are going to be brand new. It's just going to be undergoing a big major service. In terms of the number of owners, it's got three owners from new. That third owner has kept it since 2014. So low owners at the same time. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you in future videos. Bye bye.